everybody and welcome to How to Break Eggs with Sabrina and Judy. So today I'm going to create a little pear puree for my daughter's breakfast. I'm going to go ahead and peel this pear that I have. It's just one pear. I have a half a cup of water here. Actually this is a third cup of water, just spring water. I have a little bullet blender type of container here that I will attach my blade to. And then we will puree this for my daughter. And then depending on how much it makes, I'm gonna put it in a small container and freeze the rest. Or I could just put them in two containers that I have here and put them in the fridge. One she'll eat now for breakfast, the other one I can save for tomorrow for breakfast. Pears usually keep about three days in the fridge. Any fruit or vegetable that you puree can keep about three days in the fridge and up to three months in the freezer. I wouldn't go any longer than about three or four days with any fresh fruits if it's uh, a soft fruit like a pear or a banana. Even I wouldn't really save a banana either. Just let her or him eat it and be done with the rest. They only need about a third of a cup. Not even. Infants usually only need about one to two tablespoons when they first start eating usually the best way to go is a half a tablespoon because they're probably not going to eat any more than that and the best time to feed your baby is when they start giving you cues which would be if you're eating something and they go like this and they follow the food or they try to take food from you and put it in their mouths or anything really while you're eating any type of gnawing like ah if they're biting on their hands that's a good sign that they're incredibly hungry if not for ready for solid foods. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna peel my pear. Just use the regular old potato peeler. You go down the sides here. And my daughter's in the background, so you might be able to hear her a little bit. She's definitely ready to eat. Yeah. She's almost five months old. She'll be five months old in a few days, and I have been feeding her sweet potato, peas, and bananas for the last two and a half weeks. So this week she is she started bananas, and today she's going to start pears. And then I'm also this evening going to, I believe, introduce her to another type of vegetable. So I might be able to make another video for that. So I have my pear peeled here. Now I'm going to go ahead and dice this, not necessarily into small pieces, but you want to take the stem off, the base off, cut it in half, and then cut those halves in half. So now you have two pieces, you have two quarters, and then you just want to cut out that middle. Cut out that centerpiece there, the pit. This is where the seeds live, and it gets a little woody. Not the best for your baby to eat. It is digestible, but only for mature systems. So I would not recommend feeding your baby the middle of a pear. So now I have my pear cord. And I'm going to go ahead and chop this into just some rough pieces. The more uniform the cuts, the easier and uh, more even the cooking time for your fruit or vegetable. So now I just cut those into little strips and now I'm just going to give this a quick rough chop. Perfect. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this into a three-quart saucepan. And I'm going to add that uh, third cup of water. Just right in. So that's perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this on medium-high, which is about between five and six on your burner range if you have one like that, or just medium to medium-high. I'm going to go ahead and let this simmer slash boil for five to eight minutes or until fork tender. And then when this is done, I'm going to go ahead and puree it into my blender. But in the meantime, let me go ahead and clean up. You want to go ahead and get 
give your pot a little stir. Make sure everything's cooking nice and evenly. I'd say another three minutes or so. to eight minutes now. My pears are perfectly fork tender. Done. So, what I'm going to do next is going to take these and carefully, this is hot, I'm going to carefully pour them into this blender. Every last pear. We have our pears, nice and hot and steamy. It smells good. We're gonna go ahead and blend this up. So, put my blade on. Now remember, this liquid is hot. So, while this is blending, it's going to create steam and mass. When you take this lid off, you need to be very careful. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on our blender. And I'm gonna blend. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my high setting and actually my low setting and puree. that for about a good 30 seconds or so and you can see it is fully liquid really good sign there's no it's pretty watery which is fine that's fine because my daughter is an infant so she probably would just slip this up off the spoon like hear that hot steam be careful I have pureed pears. Now this is incredibly hot, like I was saying. So what I'm gonna do is pour on these sweet, these sweet little baby bullet containers here on the sides. They have little date dials. Can you see that? Little dates. Today's date is the 30th. So I went ahead and changed that to the 30th. Isn't that neat? I love these. They're so cute. This line to his mouth is one ounce. The container is two ounces. You fill it to this line here. Don't exceed this line because if you freeze these containers, they will expand. Anything that's inside this, as it freezes, the molecules expand. So make sure you leave enough room in these containers. So remember, one ounce, two ounces. I'm going to go ahead and fill this one up. I'm gonna put it in the fridge, let it cool. I might pop it in the freezer so it blast chills and cools a little bit quicker so I can feed my daughter her lunch. Cause she's getting antsy and it's almost lunch time. But for the rest of the uh, puree, I'm gonna go ahead and either place it in this freezer container here with a lid, or I will put, put the rest in another baby bullet and put it in the fridge, like I said, for about three days. She'll probably just eat it tomorrow for breakfast though. So I carefully pour it in, and perfect. I guess we'll have a few more. Great. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in. To the freezer container. And I know that this seems a little bit uh, like a waste and I didn't make a lot, I only had two pairs. But what this really does is when this is frozen, I can just pop these two out, 
give this a quick little rinse, and then put those two ice frozen pear popsicles basically in a Ziploc or any kind of storage zippy bag, any kind of clip top bag, and you can go ahead and put it into your freezer and save it. So then she can have a couple more on another day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the lid on here. Cooperate. And I'm gonna go ahead and place the caps on our jars. Make sure the date's proper. And her lunch. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop these three into the freezer. This one into the freezer only for about five minutes or so, just to get the warmth off just enough. She still likes it a little warm when she eats her food. I'll be right back. For tuning in to how to break eggs today we made a delicious pear puree for an infant around four months so I hope you enjoyed that video and I look forward to making more videos in the future so see you soon bye